All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys was how to set up Docker on an Ubuntu box. Um, I think the approach is about the same. Um, if you're going to be using like Debian or um, CentOS, it's going to be pretty similar. Um, this, the, but for, for the sake of this tutorial, we are using the um, Ubuntu box that we set up here. Um, called tutorials. Um, this Ubuntu server that we just set up is the native Ubuntu installation that um, DigitalOcean equips you with when you first create your droplet. I've literally done nothing to it. Um, so this box that we're, we're logged into right now was just set up. We logged in with our SSH, we changed our password right here, and now we are connected. Um, so installing Docker is actually really easy on, um, on Ubuntu. It's just a couple, couple different commands, and I'll walk you guys through that right now. All right, so let's pull that up. OK, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just update our list of packages. Um, this is a very common command. You run it every time we're going to be installing new uh, software with the package manager. So it's apt get update. And we're doing this primarily because, again, we just installed Ubuntu. This is a, uh, we, we've done nothing with this server yet. So um, my understanding is that just updates the package list. Um, from there, we're going to actually install Docker. And you can use this command right here. Um, these commands are provided in the blog post, so if you can't see it for some reason, you can just reference back into the blog post, you'll be all set. So it's apt-get-y install docker.io. And it's, it's relatively quick. Um, yeah, that was it. Um, and then the final thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a symlink. Um, for the docker command. And again, this is going to be referenced in the blog post, so don't worry about that. So we're putting that in there. And now the um, we can just, uh, creating an alias, we can just use the word docker, and we can run our commands. Um, so I guess the next step is to see, hey, did it actually install? So I'm going to run a couple docker commands. Um, this command lists all the active containers. It's called docker ps negative a. Um, we don't have any docker uh, containers, so we just got the headings for the table here. Um, but if we didn't have docker installed, we wouldn't have even gotten the header, the, uh, the headings. So that means docker is installed and working. So that's a good sign.